Yeah, let's keep. All right. Typically, a card that's representative of a favorable matchup for us. Kill this. So my guess is Crackling Doom, which is fine. Let's just go P and Kirin. So take out the vile aggregate. We'll get in for one. And then... Oh, he doesn't have it. If he had Crackling Doom, that would have been the time to play it. If he had Murderous Cut, that also would have been the time to play it. See Drino, all right. Yeah, that's pretty insane. Coligan's Command main deck. Good to know. Let's just... Uh I think we just swing with everything here. Keep up the P and Kieran Alar. If I swing with everything, he blocks like that. Say, well, say he blocks like this. Well, hmm. Blocks like this plus has a. Guess we actually just swing like this. Didn't have to show many cards. All right, so four color expensive stuff. Kalidus, Coligan's Command. This is definitely a matchup where Dispel comes in. I think we even want a Negate. Take out the Thopter Spy Network. Um, is he going to be running on Offensa too? Well, we're keeping Roast regardless, so. Uh, Rending Volley is not good against Sea Drino. It's good against Soulfire Grandmaster and Monastery Mentor, but I don't think that's. Good enough. Is he running those cards? Is he going to be running... Uh, usually, I feel like if it's running Kalidus, it's probably not doing Soulfire Grandmaster. I mean, this is just an assumption. I, I have no idea. Let's take out one Wild Slash. 
maybe two wild slash because I still have the Rose and two wild slashes. Yeah, and I want a little bit. Of, I definitely want a counter spell package for Cole against Command, and uh, like Radiant Flames. In fact, I probably want to bring in one more Negate, and then maybe we'll just drop a uh, one aggregate, maybe. One aggregate. Just because he almost assuredly is going to have Murderous Cut, and uh, I don't know if he's going to have Roast. I, I don't exactly know what his build is yet, I guess. Definitely a keep, despite not having any removal. Our mana is too good to not keep this hand, I think. This might be a game where I hold off on playing the Ghost Fire Blade until I am going to equip it. But is that going to work against... That's going to be tough to balance that with Negate. You know, holding up Negate as well as being have having the two mana to play and equip Ghost Fire Blade. It might still be in my interest to just play Ghost Fire next turn. There's not a ton of reason that I'm going to have to turn three Negate. Right? Probably. Likely. What would I have to negate? I don't know. I don't believe I'm going to have to, so I'm just going to play it instead. Because then I can play Thopter Engineer, Equip Blade, and still leave up negate, which I think is ultimately going to be better. Alright, so we could have the Ghost, or the... Uh, the Cole against Command now. Gonna hope he doesn't. This would be the time to play it if he had it. So if I kept Ghost Fire Blade, he probably would have just kept the Coligan's Command, to be honest, but he would have had to leave the three mana open. I don't know. All right. That's pretty tolerable. That, I mean, that kind of tells me he doesn't have Ghost Fire Blade. Or a uh, stupid... Uh, Coligan's Command. If he had Coligan's Command, it would have been a much better play. Unless he just wanted to make sure he got a uh, Cinder Glade. That could be it, too. Seeker of the Way, sure. Let's go Whirler Rogue. Oh, no. Screwed that up. How did I pay for blue with Shivan Reef? Didn't even notice myself doing that. So now I definitely want to be able to leave up uh, Negate and equip Blade. Three cards left in my opponent's hand. All right. He's got the Rhino. We're going to roast it. Yep. Good hand.
Do I want to play hanger back instead? I'm trying to think. I mean, if I equip Ghost Fire Blade and my opponent has Radiant Flames, he's going to kill his own Seeker of the Way. That's kind of relevant. Could also just play the Hanger Back and Bastion for two. Maybe three, because I can't use the Hanger Back anyway. I don't mind that. I can play Blade, equip Blade. Smash. Let's do hanger back and smash for three. And my thinking here is... I'm keeping the Thopter Engineer back because of Shambling Vent. All right, second Rhino is out in full effect. Doctor Engineer two, so play Blade. Quip Blade. Oh, I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have played the Blade. That was a mistake. All right, now we're staying back. So I shouldn't have played the blade, so I could have equipped a blade, kept up negate. No, so I could pump the hanger back. Yeah, that would have made more sense. Now I'm leaving up negate, just kind of a telegraph. He still has, a, okay, that's good to know, I guess. So if he attacks with Siege Rhino, I block with Engineer, Hanger Back, and Thopter. Okay. Um, we're not going to pump Hanger Back. Uh, let's see here. So now I can... I want to start using the Tomb. I think we're just going to hang out now. We're going to hang out. We're going to start getting Hanger back up there. Can't counter that. All right. So you can play Murderous Cut, but I'm not overly concerned about that. All right. Another blade. All right, let's equip blade. Swing for three. Re-equip blade. Pass. I don't think he has Murderous Cut. I don't think he has Impulse. So if he uses P and Kieran twice, that's not a big deal either. We'll still get a couple tokens out of the mix. And I think we'll be able to race. Okay, so now we negate that. Uh, 
And now, in order to kill our hangar back, he's got to throw a token at it. Which he can't even do. Okay, well, that worked out pretty well. Another Grandmaster. Okay. There's P and Kieran. We don't have the mana to throw Hanger back yet, and he's going to get the first crack at P and Kieran. Is that right? Yes. So I can equip Thopters. Swing with Thopters. And pass. We can leave up Hanger Back and Tomb of the Spirit Dragon. So, hanging back number two, leave up tomb again. We can play, I think we're just going to Swing with Thopters. Looks like he's ready to block. That's... Oh, just so he can take out one of them? Okay. Guess that works. Uh, so now we'll play... Don't want to play P and Kieran. I guess we'll play Doctor Engineer, and then I can't. Hmm. We'll play Hanger Back, and that way I can leave up Tomb of the Spirit Dragon, as well as pumping both my Hanger Backs. Or, yeah, one or the other. I'll probably end up pumping Hanger Backs. He doesn't have P and Kieran artifacts to do anymore, so I might just play my own P and Kieran. What the? Okay. So I'm going to assume Impulse or a Murderous Cut. Which is fine. Yeah, that's not a big deal. All right, Fumarol, P and Kieran. Because then we can throw our hanger back. Of 
Equip token. Bash. Block, block. <laughs> so you can do murderous cut again. But I don't know what he's gonna mur he has to like murderous cut the P and Kieran. I guess he can can he cast murderous cut twice? I feel like he can't. Why is he taking that out? So now he can't... He can't cast Murderous Cut twice. I think he's just going to die. Because I'm going to play Whirly Rogue. I'm going to make my hanger back unblockable. He can't cast Murderous Cut. And I can tap my Ghostfire Blades to make it unblockable. So even with the life gain here, it's not going to be enough, I don't think. He's gaining 7, going to 11. Which I still don't think is enough. Can I just activate Fumarole, swing with everything, and have lethal too? Say I swing with everything. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, let's just activate Fumarole. I don't even need to make more plays here. Should have equipped one of my flyers. I guess he does have murderous cut again. I forgot. Forgot about the seeker the way he's going to the graveyard. Then he, I mean, he can't get it back. So he murderous cuts. He, he cracks woodland. Murderous cuts. He can't get it back. He takes... Eight damage. He would have taken ten damage if I'd equipped the Ghost Fire Blade. Even if I'd played Whirler Rogue and made unblockable, it basically would have forced him to. Would it have forced him to murderous cut the hanger back? I'm not sure. All right. All 
All right, Murder's cutting that. Taking a bunch of damage, going to two. So yeah, I should have equipped the blade. That was a mistake. Well, let's equip it now. Didn't matter. Basically prolonged it an extra turn unwitting or unwill like uh what's the word I'm looking for? Stupidly. That's the word. Stupidly. Stupidly prolonged it. Okay. Uh this deck is not as good as it was. I think my one regret is uh not trying to stack at a big tournament pre-Oath, because Oath certainly made it worse. Kozilek's return is gonna be extremely difficult to beat. Worldbreaker, extremely difficult to beat. Um, what else? Abzan is like more popular than ever. This deck always had a problem with that. What else happened? That's horrible. Um, nobody's playing Four Color Rally. This deck had an amazing matchup against that. And that deck's just, I guess, dead at this point. Uh, no one is playing just blue green Eldrazi anymore. This deck was 100% crush that deck. Um, anybody who's playing the. The decks like the ones we just played, though, the, the sort of Mardu uh, base decks, this deck has an incredibly good record against that. So there are decks still in the meta that this deck can crush, but now there's decks that just seemingly crush us. So we need to reevaluate this deck. I want to keep doing it, but people are going to have to help me come up with some real solid solutions to how we're going to combat the the new meta with this deck because this deck is just not what it used to be in the new meta it's still good but just not what it used to be all right we'll uh see you for the next one